Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on Geometry Basics. So in this tutorial we're going to cover five simple rules uh, and they're useful in just about every geometry question that you're ever going to see. Uh, so it's important that you get familiar with them straight away. Um, so rule number one is that all angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. So if I draw a triangle out, like so, uh, we put the angles in, let's call them A, B and C. We can say that A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. And that is the case for all triangles. So moving on to rule number two, all angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. Uh, but first of all, what's a quadrilateral? Well, a quadrilateral is just a four-sided shape. So that can be any four-sided shape. Here, I'm just going to draw a square. And then if we put the angles in again, let's call them A, B, C, and D this time. Uh, so because they sum to 360 degrees now, we can say that A plus B plus C plus D equals 360 degrees. And once again, that is the case for any quadrilateral. So rule number three, uh, this is perhaps the most common to see on an exam question, uh, and that is that angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees. So what does that mean exactly? Well, if we have a straight line, uh, like the one going across the middle here, uh, and another line going through it, for instance, um, then th that will form two angles. Uh, again, let's call them A and B. And we can say in this case that A plus B equals 180 degrees. Or, uh, if we look at the other side, similarly, this angle plus this angle, let's call them C and D. We can say C plus D equals 180 degrees. Um, or looking at another straight line, we can say C and A is 180 degrees and D and B is also 180 degrees, uh, all because they are straight lines. So moving on to rule number four, um, this is kind of an extension of rule number three really, and that is that angles around a point sum to 360 degrees. So uh, if we have a look at this uh, diagram here, you can see that all these lines come to one point in the center. Um, so if we draw on some angles, Let's label them A, B, C, and D. Well, you can see that A and B are on a straight line and so are C and D. Um, so we can say that A plus B equals 180 degrees and C plus D equals 180 degrees. Uh, or we could say that A plus B plus C plus D equals 360 degrees. Uh, so all angles around a point sum to 360 degrees. So the final rule that we'll look at in this video is that two sides of an isosceles triangle are equivalent. Uh, but first of all, what does an isosceles triangle mean? Uh, well, this kind of is the definition of an isosceles triangle, really. Uh, and that's just because an isosceles triangle is a triangle of two equivalent sides. So we'll label them like that. Uh, and then the effect of this is that the two base angles, uh, let's call them both X since they're the same. These are both equivalent. Uh, and then we can just call the other angle Y. So if you found the video useful, uh, why not practice the online test using our revision platform? You'll find lots of questions there and you'll get instant feedback on each one. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below.